Hey there, 50 friends. Welcome back to Abby Thrifts. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Abby and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am at the Goodwill today. I just got off of work and it has been the longest work week. I don't know if you can like see the bags under my eyes, but I can feel them and they're there. But <laughs> um, I thought I would have to film this video for you in the complete dark because if you guys live in the Midwest, you probably know about daylight savings. I'm not sure where else in the country it happens, but yeah, so now things are getting dark around five o'clock and I thought I would have to like shoot a video for you in the darkness. And yeah, we don't have to deal with that today, but the reason I'm here today is because my brother and his new wife just purchased their first house together and I thought I would send them a cute housewarming basket package thing. They live across the country from where I live and so instead of me flying out there like I would love to do, I'm just gonna send them a housewarming gift package thing and it'll, it'll also combine like holiday Christmas stuff. So. Yeah, that's why I'm here, and uh, I'm not thrifting it for money reasons. I'm more thrifting it because sometimes I find really, really cool things thrifting. Things that, you know, would be in a, a certain store that I wouldn't even think to go in. And so, that's why I'm here today. And yeah, second, I just haven't been to a Goodwill in a while, so if they have anything fun, I might buy something for myself, but especially this one, I love coming to this one. This is the county in where I work. My work is like five minutes away from here. And yeah, there are some really, really nice things at this one. I've found a lot of new with tags things, and I think a lot of people who live here are super wealthy, and so they just donate a lot of what they have. Yeah, I never pass up on the stuff here because it's really nice. But anyways, I'm gonna go in and see if I can find anything cool. I'm not like married to buying anything here. If I find something cool, I'm gonna buy it for them. But if not, I'm just gonna probably go to Target and find some cute stuff for them and put it in a nice little box. But I just kind of wanted to film and show you guys my little day trip, night trip to the Goodwill. Just because I haven't taken you on a journey with me in a while. I love going to the bins. That would be fun to go to that one, but I just, the weekends and time is passing by so quickly and I know that's an excuse, but here we are. Also, hope you guys notice, I got my hair done. I got it cut shoulder length and I also got it dyed. If you see me in my earlier videos prior to this, it's like longer and I had it blonde for the summer and I'm really digging this one. Yeah, so I've just been kind of putting it up sometimes. Anyway, that has nothing to do with thrifting. I just <laughs> thought I would point out my new hair. So anyways, I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you around and we're gonna see what we can find. So I'll see you in there.
50 friends so last night after i got out of goodwill i started recording in my car and it was just way too dark for you guys to see anything i got like halfway through the things i was trying to show you and my face was all dark and the light in my car was doing absolutely nothing so i was like turning and trying to show you things with one hand and it was just not working at all so i was like you know what i'm gonna do it in the morning when they can actually see my face and the sun is out and yeah, I just thought we could work with daylight savings and do it this way. So I got some really cool stuff at Goodwill. I spent $21 even. I got maybe one or two things for myself, but the rest I got for my brother and his wife. And I'm actually really excited for the things that I found. I recorded a lot, it felt like in there, but most of the things I showed you were what I picked up. And then I put some stuff back too, so I'll just show you what I got, but I'm really excited about it. And afterward, I ended up going to Target and getting them a few more things. I had to pick some stuff up there anyway, so I think I'm gonna get it all packaged up and sent out on Monday for them, but let me show you what I got. So, first thing I'm gonna show you, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you too. The one or two things for myself. This one, beautiful universal thread purse. There's something that I found, not in this purse, but in another purse that I will tell you about at the end. Um, so it's it's hidden in here, but um, I'm just like beyond ecstatic about this and I'm not even sure how to feel about it And I'm trying not to feel any certain way about it because I don't want to get my hopes up But I think I found something really really cool and worth a lot of money. So Yeah, we're gonna I'm, I'll show you that at the end. But anyway, so <clears throat> My first find was a brand new universal thread adorable crossbody purse uh, sells for $15 at Target. It has the original like packaging and stuff in it. You can kind of hear it there But I just thought the color of this was beautiful and I've been trying to up my purse collection lately So this is gonna be perfect for a night on the town or you know anything like that So I'm not lugging around like a giant purse when I'm trying to go out or travel or do things like that so they were selling this one for $8 which I thought was kind of a lot but it's okay. You know what? About half of 15, so we're almost there. So that is not going to be shipped with them. That one is mine. <laughs> but I did find some other cool stuff for them. But I haven't even gotten to it yet, so here we are. So one of the first cool things I found for them was two of these Harvest Pumpkin style type kitchen towels. And these are both going for $1.00. Um, these look brand new, like they still have the, um, <clears throat> the folds in them and I don't know, there's like nothing wrong with them. There's obviously not like a real tag on it, but I found two of them and I just thought these were absolutely adorable and I thought this would be a great addition to their kitchen. Although we are past fall season, I'm sure they're still experiencing some fall type, uh, I don't know, weather over there just because they're over on the East Coast and things are always much more beautiful over there. But anyway, I thought these would be adorable for the kitchen. So just grab both of them for them. Before I went thrifting, I actually texted my brother and asked what they could use because they moved all the stuff in. And normally whenever you move into a new house or a new apartment or just a new place, you're looking for stuff that you can fill it with. So asked him what they could use and he said kitchen stuff. And so that's why I got these towels or kitchen towels, I guess they could also be used for something else, but um, I also got them oven mitts. And what are these called? Just, these are probably also oven mitts. Anyway, I found some really cool stuff in them here, but this one has the tag on it. So I recognize this tag from the dollar store, but this was still really cute and it still had a tag on it. So, you know, maybe it'll look like Hey, I shopped for you at this store. Actually, I don't really care if they know I thrifted it. Honestly, it doesn't matter, but it's still new. So they're gonna be the first ones using it, but they tagged this one at $1. Um, yeah, and this is just total Christmas vibes. It's really soft inside and ready for use. So I was really excited about that for them. And then these two I was super excited about because this one, has a tag on it as well. It doesn't say the price or anything, but I'm just gonna leave it on there because, you know, so they can know that this is also brand new and they're gonna be the first one to use this as well. But I thought this would be absolutely perfect for them because they are both in the military. And obviously if they're in the military, they both love America. So 
I thought that this would be absolutely perfect for them. And I can't believe that I found this set together. Like, I just thought this would be freaking perfect for them. So, oh, I'm really excited about that. The next thing I found for them were these super adorable Ikea picture frames. And they originally didn't have a tag on it. So when I went up to the counter, I was like, yeah, these don't have a tag on it. And then the lady left for like five minutes and came back and put it on the glass. And let me tell you, it irks me when these stickers are on the glass because when you're trying to like take it off, the, the sticky residue is on the glass and then you have to like spray it and take it off, which is not a big deal, but I just wish that she would have put it like on the back or just somewhere that is not on the glass. I just, I was like, why did you do that lady? But anyways, so these are super nice picture frames. Ikea is the absolute best. So I thought this would be super cute for them to fill their house with pictures of them. And obviously these two picture frames are the same. So they won't have like multiple picture frames that don't look similar. This might match the aesthetic of their house. And I haven't been there yet, obviously, but these are super simple and, you know, dark wood classic type of look. So I thought that they would enjoy those. I'm gonna have everything topple over onto this camera. <laughs> okay, what else did I get for them? Oh, okay, one sec. I forgot if I told you how much those were. The picture frames were $2 each. This is probably my favorite find of all. So this one, $4. The sun's kind of getting in the way, but I saw this sitting on the shelf, as you know, here with me at the time. And I just thought this was like the most adorable vase of all time. Like, look how pretty this is. I'm not even sure where this is from or like what the design is or if someone made it or if it's from somewhere, I have no idea. But I just thought like this was super cute. It's not like loud, it's modern. It would go with the picture frames. I'm thinking of everything for their house, okay? So I was just out here trying to find stuff to make the house better and I did. So hopefully they like this and they don't think it's ugly. But yeah, this was $4, I thought it was super cute. So I'm gonna put that back here. That was everything I got for them. And again, I will show you what is inside the purse at the very end of the video, but I'm gonna dive into what I got them at Target. So first things first, I went to the kitchen section because my brother wanted stuff for their kitchen. So I got them a bag clip set. This was only like four or $5 or something. Not bad at all. I figured they would like the colors. These are cool tones. So, you know, if they're using them for chips or something for the freezer or uh, fridge or whatever they would use it for. They have bag clips now, so no need to worry. I got you bag clips. I also got them a dish towel set. I thought this would be super nice for them. Um, they could hang it on their stove. They could, you know, I'm not sure if they have a dishwasher or not, but if they're washing dishes let, uh, by hand and they could use these to dry them off. So I thought everyone could use a dish set. A dish, a dish towel set. But yeah, I also thought these were super cute just cause they're Target and everything from Target is adorable. But yeah, so that one I think was $5 as well. So definitely not much at all. And I also got them a nice little candle to brighten the smells inside their house. And yeah, so I know this is gonna go really well with everything. And after this is all shipped to them, I will be super excited to come and see their house and see how they put all this stuff together. Or maybe they'll just hate all of it and not want to put anything in their house. If that's the case, that's okay. Um, I have a feeling they're gonna like it though. And I was thinking about getting them a blanket as well, like a really soft blanket from Target, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with this stuff. And this was a pretty cheap housewarming gift that I could send to them, but it's also something that I know that is gonna be beneficial for them in their house. So I'm very excited that everything turned out this well and that I was able to find some pretty cool stuff at Goodwill. But now for the end, at the very beginning of this video, I was going through the purses, as you know, and if you need a refresher, go ahead and scroll back to that point in the video. But I was looking through the purses, you know, I don't know if I like took a video of all the purses, but they were there. And I found a Dooney and Burke bag, vintage Dooney and Burke, and I thought it was so cute. Not something that I would use, but I was like, okay, this is cute, this would resell, because Dooney and Burke, we all know, big brand nowadays. Um, looked at the tag, Goodwill wanted $40 for it, and I was like, heck no, sister, we're not doing that. So anyway, when I was looking through the bag, it felt a little heavy, so I was like looking through the pockets, 
and um, I found some jewelry inside of the purse and 95% of it was junk and there was that 5% that I saw and noticed and picked it up right away and I was like what am I holding so I'm gonna show you that now okay so it was inside of the bag found it and here we are This is a 14 karat gold brick style bracelet. And I know that it is 14 karat gold because it says it on the bracelet. So this is going to be my video diary in a sense where I'm gonna go back on this video and be like, oh yeah, I found that bracelet and it was either worth a lot or it was worth absolutely nothing. So um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to point that out right now that I am going to get this appraised and we're going to find out how much it's worth and possibly going to resell this baby. Um, I was very surprised to find it in a random Dooney and Burke bag and I'm really, really, really happy that I found it and that I like looked through the bags and you know, I'm just kind of curious like that. I just like looking through stuff. That's why I like going to the bins. But anyways, yeah, I didn't really know what to think about this. I texted my mom and I was like, how can you tell if something's real gold? And she said, well, it would have the 14 carat or it, it, it would have the carat on the, the bracelet or whatever it has on it. And I was like, oh crap, it does have it on there. So this isn't me trying to show it off. This is just me like being really, really excited. And I've never found like real jewelry at the thrift store before. So that's kind of why I'm just trying to document this. I'll show you a little more up close what it is. But anyway, so it was hiding in the Dooney and Burke bag. So I took it out and I put it in this yellow bag. And when I got up to the front, I just had it sitting on the, um, the counter. And obviously this wouldn't have a price tag on it. So I haven't calculated everything, but either she gave it to me for a dollar or she gave it to me for free because she like ran back to go uh, price the frames. And then she came back and noticed this also wasn't priced. And I was like, oh yeah, this one, is, this one isn't priced either. And she just, I, there were like people in line and I think she was just like, okay, whatever. And like, just threw it in with my stuff. And that wasn't what I like anticipated, but I think she, maybe she did price it. it. Like it had to have been a dollar or something, but um, yeah, I was just really surprised to find something like this. And um, yeah, that is my story, man. Like I'm very, very confused and excited and i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with this but i'm excited to see what this will do for my reselling journey so i might be making a video on this later and yeah we're gonna see i've heard some really good stories about people finding like diamonds and like real jewelry at the goodwill or just like at any thrift store i follow this page on facebook it's um the weird and wonderful finds or something and I'll see posts on there about people going, oh yeah, I found this like real diamond at Goodwill. I was just sifting through it or they'll find like really cool brooches or just really cool stuff. So again, that is exactly why <laughs> I go thrifting because you just find like the coolest stuff that you wouldn't normally find at another store. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of my housewarming gift to my brother and his wife. And let me know what you think about this awesome bracelet that I found, like what you think I should do with it, or I don't know. I'm not really sure where to take it or what to do with it. And I also kind of don't want to know the answer because if it's like nothing and I'm being duped, then I'm getting excited for nothing. So I'm trying not to be excited. But anyways, <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching today. Uh, if you have any like video requests or comments, nice comments, please. And, um, you know, anything else, just let me know in the comments below. I try to get to the comments as quickly as I can. And sometimes I see them and I'm like, oh, that's a really nice comment. And then I just forget to respond. So I'm sorry to all of you who have commented and you're like, oh yeah, she likes comments. I'm going to comment. And then I just don't respond back for a while. I'm trying to be better at that. So I just, I really do read them and then I just forget to respond like for five days. So love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.